Anthony, with the uh, with the the number of guys you've run through on on the one side at cornerback, how important has Malcolm Butler's availability in his play every week been in terms of you know providing some consistency to the pass coverage? Oh, it's been good. Um, he's been in there. He's been available. He's been in there for us every week. Came in every week to um, work and prepare and take on the challenge of taking the team's top receiver. So it's been good to have him over there on that side um, throughout the year. Did, did you expect him to, to take on that, that challenge of the top receiver every week? Or is that sort of, you know, has he sort of earned that right as with his play as this season has gone on? We just take it a week by week um, deal to see if that's what's um, best for us um, to have the best chance to win. And obviously, you know, he wants that challenge and then we feel that it's necessary. We'll do it. Um, but we take that on a week to week basis to see how um, from a game plan standpoint, how we want to attack the um, opposing offenses. TD. Yeah, what's up, Coach? Music? How you doing? I'm doing well. Appreciate you. Um, I wanted to ask you about Adoree. I, I remember during camp you, you talked about him coming in and competing and, you know, making progress. And as far as consistency is concerned, uh, what were your thoughts of him watching him out there for those few minutes next? Um, you know, considering this, you know, he's been out for a while. It's been his first, you know, game back. I thought he did a good job going out there. You know, obviously you got to get, the, you know, because it's game shape, you know, going out there and doing those things. But I was pleased with, you know, he played around right around 27 snaps, I think it was. And it, I was pleased to see him um, get in there, and just, you know, get in, uh, have an opportunity to compete in the game, you know, since he's been out so long. So that was encouraging. And, you know, we came out and it was good to see him. And he was excited to be back. So we're excited to have him. It adds depth to the group. And um, it's a good thing for us. And then in, in watching the game, the communication, there were a few times that we're crossing routes and things. He was talking to the other players, which is something I know, you know, the communication has been an area for improvement. How did you manage to keep him involved and keep him to that level to where he could kind of help other people out, even though he didn't play for so long? Well, he's been in this system and, you know, he's a vet that's, you know, have, you know, he's played NFL football and NFL games. And it's a comfort level for those guys to just go out there. And that's the big thing about it. You know, him, you know, communicating with KB or the other guys, just helping guys out, get lined up. Um, Adoree has high football, you know, IQ, so I don't worry about him, you know, with that. So he's it's just a benefit with him out there just to helping us improve the communication on the field. Thank you. Paul? Hey, Anthony. Uh, hypothetically, if, if you've got a corner in space against a uh, giant running back, how would you advise them not to get stiff arm slammed to the ground? <laughs> he better go for his legs. I mean, I was in the same position last year when we, I was in Houston. Like, you just know, I mean, you playing a big physical running back like Derek, I mean, he's going to stiff arm you. You go high on him, you have no chance. So, but good luck with that. You surprised how often people wind up? I mean, obviously, it's a huge highlight real thing. Everybody's seeing it, right? It's on Twitter. Every football player, little leaguer, everybody's seeing it. Yet, every other week, we see a guy putting himself in that position. Yeah, that's a tough deal. You know, you're coming and, you know, Derek's a big guy. And the thing about him, you just can't think you're going to go for his legs all the time because he has the ability to hit the home run on you. So it's a tough deal when you, you know, battling a tough back like that. You know, I'm just happy that I'm on the same sideline side with him this year. Appreciate it. All right, I got a couple of write-ins for you here. Uh, it's two weeks now where Amani has started kind of last minute in place of Kenny. Mm -hmm. um, is his ability to handle that change a testament to his preparation during the week? Yeah, well, he's always been a pro, you know, when it comes to pre preparing himself to get ready to play. Um, that's one of his strengths. And um, so when his number's called, you know, it's not a shock to him. And we tell the guys, if you're sitting in the room, everybody needs to be prepared like they're going to play. You don't wait for your opportunity to come to start preparing. So when your opportunity comes, you're already ready. There's no shock factor, and you just go out there and execute, and there's no drop-off. And that's what we expect, and that's the expectation. Jim Wyatt. And, Coach, I'm sorry I'm bouncing in from Coach Williams. I'm sure you've been asked about it, Dory. But how, how did you like what you saw from him 
Sunday, and uh, and how much should that just start the process of him getting better each week, and, and maybe in your mind and his? Um, it was encouraging, you know, for him to be out so long and to come in and you know be able to get in there and get some reps and getting you know get the game reps and go in there and compete. I thought he did a good job, and the more he plays, the better he's going to get. So it was, it was encouraging to see him out there, and his teammates was happy to have him out there. How how much of improving technique is just playing? I mean, you can only do so much in practice, especially when you haven't been out there. Does that do you improve that on the fly? Well, it's, the more you play, you know, you get this, the game speed reps. I mean, obviously, the more you'll get that, and the more, the better you'll get at it. So. The more he plays, the better he'll continue to get with the game speed and the game rep. So we'll just continue to build on that each week and see how he handles it. And, and as far as the group goes, obviously a huge challenge with Ann Rodgers on Sunday. What are some of the things you have to point out to the group even before the practice week starts that they don't maybe see when they watch him and the Packers play? Well, I think the guys understand that this guy's a future Hall of Fame quarterback with a very good receiving core, you know, good tight end, good back. They're explosive, you know, great in third downs, great in the red zone. It's a big challenge for us. And that, that's what that's what you're looking for this time of the year. It's December is playoff football. So, you know, it's a great challenge for us to go on the road in that environment, you know, you know, and on a Sunday night to be able to compete on a national stage. And it'll be good for us to be a good test for us. Glennon. Hey, Anthony. Um, I was curious. Uh, I know, know Christian hasn't been, um, uh, you know, back on the, in a game yet, but wondering what you've seen from him in terms of practice and, and how he seems to be uh, progressing. Uh, he's still, you know, coming back when you just keep, you know, monitoring him week to week to see how much he's improving and how much he's progressing. And then just come to practice and compete and continue to prepare in the meetings like he's been doing all year. And then when his number's caught, be ready to go. Sure. Uh, I know he played a, a lot of slot, uh, you know, when he was active earlier in the season. Um, now, of course, you guys have Desmond King. Um, does that mean, you know, do you still have Christian playing uh, there when he's in the game just because that's kind of what he's learned? Or, or, you know, is it more of an outside situation for him now that now that King is part of the team? Uh, we'll just evaluate that week to week. But Christian was the guy when we came in said his versatility. He can play inside or outside. So, He's just not a guy who's just stuck on the inside. So whenever, you know, he gets his opportunity to, you know, get out there and compete, we'll just evaluate that at that time. Thank you. TD. Yeah, you touched on Aaron Rodgers a little bit earlier, but when you look at, you know, he and, and Devontae Adams, how important is it for these DBs to really plaster this week? Is it more important than others? Um, every week when you're playing a quarterback like this, you know, him, Patrick Mahomes, Deshaun Watson, you know, Josh Allen, you know, we, it's, it's very important because these guys have the ability to, ex, you know, extend play. So we got to do a great job, you know, stress during the week, however long it takes. But, you know, we know it's a tough matchup. I mean, he is, you know, special receiver, special quarterback, special group on offense. Um, it's a big challenge for us. And I know our guys will respond to the challenge. You guys do a really good job of having drills that transfer to game day. So that being said, what can you do to during practice, you know, to kind of work that into the the habit on, on, on game day? Well, it's different drills you can rep in individual period, just simulate, you know, simulate, you know, extending the play and things like that. But, you know, obviously when we get in the game, it's a different animal. You know, you know, you're playing a guy like Aaron Rodgers that can place the ball anywhere from an accuracy standpoint to throw the ball deep, throw it short. So he could do a lot of different things. The guys just got to know we just got to be locked in this week and knowing we're playing, you know, a very, very, very good team. Um, and we got to be at our best. And that's the way we'll have to approach the week. Um, the same we approach every week. You know, we just got to, you know, emphasize being our best, come and have a great week of practice to go up um, on Sunday to get a win. Thank you. 